Patrick, but David, I have a message for you. I'm actually one of your listeners and I got some of your books coming on the way. I really appreciate his style and the level that uh, that his production, his valuetainment company is at right now. And I always watch, I go on my feed and, you know, I don't follow many people, but he's one of the people I follow. And I love this little segment, these 25 minute segments that are educational segments. I think he just started them because so many people don't know much about uh, the Israel-Palestine conflict. But message for Patrick Pet David, I'm totally buying into your concept. You got to be fair. Don't be one of the people that just jumps to a conclusion because this is my tribe and I'm going to support them. I'm totally with that. And we Muslims have been told that. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, support your Muslim brother, oppressor or oppressed. Okay. That was an old Arab saying. They said, how do I support him when he's an oppressor? He said, to stop him from his oppression. You can't stop someone from oppression unless you recognize they're doing wrong. So sometimes our, our, you know, our people do wrong. We got to recognize it. You just recently did History of Hamas, Hezbollah, and ISIS. I recommend people watch it. He cites everything. He's not really clearly that he doesn't have an agenda that it's going to be skewed. I pretty much trust that he transmitted things properly. Well, here's my request. I'm holding up on my iPad, U.S. Department of Justice. What about the history of Israeli terrorist organizations, right? If in the spirit of what he just said, which is, you know, look at both sides, don't jump. So PBD, can you please do a similar 25 minute of video clip with the citations and everything? This is U.S. Department of Justice. It's a government website. Uh, outlining terror out of Zion. All of this is started because of terrorism performed by Zionists. The Irgun, we know the name Hamas. Hamas would not have existed without the Irgun. In other words, all the resistance, all of this resistance, all of this hatred, all of this grievance would not have existed without organizations like the Haganah, the Irgun. How is the Haganah different from what Hezbollah is today? Hezbollah is a state within a state. Well, Lebanon, they're so weak, they can't protect anybody. And we're the Shias here. We're going to do these things ourselves. Let's make Hezbollah. They have their own foreign policy. They have a 150,000 person army, according to your video today. Okay. Which I repeat again, I don't f feel that he has, uh, there's no record of him skewing facts. He cites you, what he, uh, you know, whatever he says, which is why I appreciate it. There will be no issue here. Without these terrorist organizations, they had the King David hotel bombing. They had the Nakba. This was all illegal. Hamza, who's on the other screen, is nodding because he, he's a historian himself. All this was illegal. Your audience, just as they know who Hamas is, they have to know what the Nakba is. Okay? They have to know. I myself am not a historian, but it takes two seconds to learn. PBD is not a historian either. He's, he's smart enough to figure stuff out. You know, within two weeks, he's knowledgeable, right? It's not hard. This is all public fact. You're listening. So this is my message, PBD. I I love. I like this video. It was not one sided. He brought counter arguments, and then at the end of the day, said, "Like guys, let's just put the facts out, and let's not be from this people who just jump to support their tribe." It's not even logical or practical that my people are going to be right 100 percent of the time. They're going to be right wrong sometimes, right? I'm totally with that. Now let's shift it now to the origins of the whole thing, okay? The origins, the Haganah, the Ergun, Zvailiumi, Lehi, okay? Palestinian underground, 1929, 1949. I'm looking at the author, J.B. Bell. This was done in 1977. Book, 385 pages. Where is it? It's on the U.S. Department of Justice, Office of Justice Programs, OJP.gov. So it's not some kind of nonsense. It's not some kind of made-up lies, smearing Israel and smearing Jews. No, they have their share of terrorists. The country was given to them by England and then expanded by terrorists who did illegal things. And it was, and England's hands were sort of, uh, you know, arm was twisted. What's the expression? Their arms were twisted by these terrorist organizations, that state within a state before Israel became an official state. Well before 1948, they had a military. That's a militia. A military that's not a recognized state was what we call a militia.